Okay. I always love this one. I don't know when we're even connected yet. So I have no idea. I think we are live now. Oh my goodness. Hey, Lily. Hi, Eleanor. Oh, good. Thank you for letting me know because that's always a matter of concern. I literally recorded several um, chapters of Dragon's Reign and there was no sound. So that always makes me nervous. Hello, Miriam. It's good to see you. Bonjour. My terrible French accent. Bonjour, Claude. Hi, Eleanor uh, from Lily. Um, hello, Visual Coffee. Hi, female Tamura Shigaki. Shigaraki. I got the wrong. How are you guys doing? Hi, Anna Paula. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Pam. Just give this a moment for people to come in. Hey, Joy. You were my hundredth subscriber? How do you know? <laughs> Nikiteka, are we going to get dragon babies? No dragon babies. Hi, Terry. Hey, Angelica. Hi, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm so glad that you guys like, you know, just came in. Bye. Hello, Alana. First time on a live feed with you. Well, I'm so glad you're here. This is really nice. So guys, I just thought I, I don't really have anything planned. I just thought we could talk and have fun and, you know, find out what's going on with you and we could talk about the wicked path or anything else um, and celebrate 5,000 subs. Yeah. We're, we're already over 5,000, which is shocking. I do remember when it was like three people on the YouTube channel then five. It's like how Wraith rain started. I, you know, and then it just suddenly gets more and more. Thank you. Visual coffee for the congrats. Terry says, do you have a time limit? No, I don't really have a time limit. <clears throat> until my voice goes out and you guys get totally bored. I, <coughs> oh, Terry, TikTok. I'm missing something. Terry says, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no. Do I have a tick? Oh, do I have a TikTok? No, I do not have a TikTok. Um, we're, we might, or might get one, um, to do some stuff, but I do not have one right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is my first time on live stream. Nice. Luralene says, hi. I'm so glad you're loving the new Wicked Path. Hey, Liv. Hey, Melody. Again, this is just for, you know, I mean, we definitely can talk about the Wicked Path. We can talk about anything. Um, I just, you know, want to know how you guys are doing and just like, you know, have a good, a good time uh, on this brilliant Saturday in December. Nikiteko says, <clears throat> are the other dragons going to get their mates? Please, I need to know. No, they are not. They do not get their mates in Dragon's Reign. I leave that to your imagination. Uh, Timid Reader says, can we ask about you? Like your brothers, sisters? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Nikiteko, love, love you all. Love you back. And Bailey says, hello. It's nice to see you, Bailey. I wonder, can you guys see each other's comments if you're on Facebook versus... YouTube, I can, but I don't know if you guys can see each other's. Liv says, can I ask, we in the manga, it switched to text? Huh, Liv, I think you need to rewrite that. I don't know what you're asking. Alana asks, how do you keep several stories straight in your head at the same time, i.e. Everdark Academy, Wicked Path, etc.? I find it boring if I'm not having more than one story in my head. Um, I've always, what I always found is that I honestly would, um, 
I I would get stuck on one story and then I would and then I would I just stop would stop writing. When you have multiple stories, you <clears throat> your brain has a chance to think on it even when you're not actively working on something. So that's I think it's just a, a better thing for my writing process. <clears throat> Visual Coffee says, I usually have your books going in the background when I play video games. Nice. What video games are you playing? Uh, Bailey says, only Facebook can see Facebook. Ah. Liv, I think you need to rewrite the entire comment because that did not make any sense, to be honest, honey. I, I don't know what you were asking there. So why don't you just rewrite it? Make sure it's like, you know, a little clearer for me. Melody says, we can only see comments from the platform we're using. Oh, what a bummer. Eleanor says, <clears throat> have you ever participated in a national novel writing month? No, I never have. Every month is national <laughs> novel writing month for me. I literally write probably every single day. Um, obviously, there are three chapters up per week on the site, plus I'm writing books, plus answering questions, plus working on manuscripts for the manga, plus, plus, plus. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. So, uh, no, I do not. I don't need to. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for the congratulations. I truly appreciate it. I remember when you were one of the few, the proud on YouTube here. Liv, why in the manga does it switch to text? I really don't know what you mean, Liv. Do you mean in some of the earlier Dark Earths where I put in some side stories? Yeah, I, I could only think that that's what you mean. That's why we put them in as extras for fun. Eleanor says writing daily. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anna Paula says I suck at drawing. Who does illustrations for your characters? Also any advice in making a book audio? Your work is amazing. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, Mathia Arconial is our in-house artist. Uh, Sylvia Frost does all the um, text and um, design work. She does also the book covers. Um, any advice in making a book audio? Go to ACX. Um, I know a lot of people are having problems with Audible ACX, but I'll be honest with you, I've had great experiences there in terms of getting actors. And it's really easy. You put up, uh, claim your book on Amazon. <clears throat> you put up, uh, you tell how much you're willing to pay or if you want to do royalty share. And then you put up an audition script and then people put in the auditions and that's how that go. And you listen to it and you think to yourself, what do I believe would best serve my book? And that's how you sort of do it. Visual coffee says, I'm a huge nerd for RPG. Dragon age is my, is my dad, <laughs> my favorite. I love dragon age. I am always torn between mass effect dragon age obviously um the elder scrolls and fallout and i'm really excited for starfield i, th I think it's going to be really good um but i might just be you know obviously in the witcher i love as well and um cyberpunk 2077 is, was very disappointing but the stories was good in a lot of ways um amai says congrats wraith you work so hard thank you so much Ness said i wish i had the discipline to write every day i have it only because of you guys um and this in the calendar uh i would not write every day i know i would be lazy and not do it so that is for sure to be honest with you ness i i need an outside somebody cracking the whip and the thought of the readers waiting for a chapter is what does it for me um joyce says who are your favorite singers oh gosh i love halsey um, I really love, although he's problematic, I really enjoy social repose. I like, um, Billy Eilish. I like, I, I like a lot of like, um, honestly singers that I found on YouTube and just, just love their stuff and like just follow them about, but I never know their names. Uh, Abigail says, Hey, congratulations on 5k, right? I thank you so much. I know I, it's so exciting to hit that. Would you ever make a story about superheroes? I did do a story about superheroes. It's called Lightless. You can find it on the site. Um, it was not <laughs> particularly well received. I, uh, for many, many reasons, I could definitely do it um, another one, but I think I really 
what I do do is I base all of my stories on the Marvel formula. And there is a Marvel formula, which is like, you know, a certain amount of like angst, humor, and wild spectacle. Of course, I add in the love there that they normally don't. Uh, Doll says, you, hey, Doll. Eller says, I do participate in National Novel Writing Month, even though I write mostly daily. The challenge to write 50,000 words in a month can help propel my story forward. Yes, I write over 75,000 words a month normally, Eleanor. So I would not be adding to that. Um, but I can see why for somebody who might not be writing that much because they're not crazy like I am, that would be very useful because that's like a 50,000 words. It's like, you know, a novel. Um, the visual co coffee says, are you excited for Elden Ring? No, because it's too much like Dark Souls. And I'm not good at that ki kind of game. I like the story games. There's another one that's come out by the makers of Fallout 2. And I cannot remember the name of it right now. It's far in the future. But that looks spectacular. And I always com I confuse it with Elden Ring. But I am curious, like, what's going to go, uh, you know, on. Happy Saturday back to you, Kevin. Doll says, it's 4 a.m., but sleep is for the week. I hear you. I I love naps, though. I don't know. Lovecraft says, first time commenting, but congrats to you for all your hard work. Love your work. Thank you so much. I'm just so excited to, like, I mean, I can't believe that there's 5,000 subs and stuff. It's just amazing. That's really, it's really, really neat. Um, and I just, I do so much of my watching on YouTube that it feels weird to think that I have this small little channel, just like some other people I love do. Miriam says, will Dragon's Reign be updating on Thursday next week? Uh, yes, they always do. It always does. On So for the YouTube channel, it does it every week on a Thursday. Um, for the site, it's more hit or miss. We had some technical problems we try to keep had, but normally we won't. Cat will be dumping, dumping, but putting a lot more chapters up on the, uh, the site in a little bit, I think. Liv says, in one of my books, I have a super cute shape-shifting cat. Her name is Willow, and she loves picking on dogs. Well, I think you, your cat doesn't have to be a shape-shifter to enjoy that. Alner says, are you saying I'm not crazy? Laugh out loud. You are not crazy. Not in comparison. I guess it's a comparison thing, right? Um, Anna Paula says, thank you, Wraith. I have better confidence into creating my series. Thank you again. What is your favorite food? Oh, God. I love I love food. I, I, I'm a plumper. I love food. I love all sorts of food. Um, I can't think of anything that's my favorite favorite because I'll say something and then I'll want something different. Like I'd say pizza, but then the next day I'd be like Chinese food. And then the next day after that, I'd be like burger. The next day after that, I'd eat steak, you know, that sort of thing. I love everything. I'm most everything. <clears throat> Am I said 75,000 words a month for this too powerful. It is right. It's like, feel the power. And that's on top of the day job. It's all good. Joy. So I have a couple drag a couple questions about Dragon's Reign and Wicked Path. You gotta add, I'll like see what you're going to ask them. Doll says Christmas special, not this year. Got too much going on uh that I'm working on. So no, nothing special this year. Salvador says, I recently joined the membership and I'm loving it so far. You are so incredible and hardworking. Oh, that's so lovely. I'm so glad you joined. It's a lot of fun. The people are so friendly. Uh, definitely check out the Discord. If someone could put the link for that, that would be great. I know a lot of people have a lot of fun there. Thank you again, Kevin, for the congrats on 5K. Lily says, I'm trying to listen to live. But my two new gods, or cats, are trying to eat my headphone cords. Yeah, yeah. This morning, uh, Mew, my cat, just she decides that there's a certain point where I am to leave the bed. And she it's a queen size bed, right? We could both share it. No, no. She it's time for me to leave because it's all hers. Um, let's see here. I scroll up. I lost my place. Are you thinking of making another story for the ghost series? Yes, I am. I do have another um book in mind. They're really to close it off. But I, I was so unhappy with the uh, second one in so many ways that I just, you know, this is, a, unfortunately, this is one of those series where I just want to rewrite it. I mean, from the, from 
the ground floor up and people who have been with me long enough know I've done that. And I just, I don't want to do that. But at the same time, trying to write the capstone of it really puts me in a position where I'm unhappy with what's come before in some ways and want to fix it. Helen, thank you for the congratulations. I don't know. When will the next Empire of Stars come out? Do you mean on the site or on YouTube? Because let me look at the calendar. There's a calendar which I will actually put a link to that updates every month on Wraith Rain. And you can see when there's going to be live readings and there's going to be a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put that here. So you can check it out for those of you who don't know or those of you who are even members and didn't know it was there. So the live reading, uh, the next actual, I should say, the next chapter chapter of Wraith Rain where I'm going to be writing is the ninth. And the live rating of Empire of Stars is the 18th. You can find all of that, all of that on our calendar. And Lily encourages you to join the, the uh, chaos of the Discord. I do stop in there and check to see what people are thinking that they're too afraid to say. Or also some very cute, funny comments. Okay, so Joy says, so I have a couple of questions about Dragon's Reign and Wicked Path. How did Alarian die? He did not die. They're not vampires. They do not die. To what age did Alarian die? I do not know. In my head, head he's in his 30s, but since he's old, since he lived at a different time where life expectancy wasn't that long, I don't know. He's probably in his 20s, but truthfully, he seems in his 30s to me. And then what do you do in your free time? What free time is the question I would ask back. No, I I watch a lot of YouTube. I play video games. I love getting together with friends. I used to, back pre-pandemic days, love going to the movies, but that's just not something I can do. Um, I am a diabetic, so getting COVID is sort of like a no-no for me. So I haven't been back in two years. It's very depressing, as we all know. Um, but I love, yeah, I love movies. I love music. I love all of that. So that's sort of what I do. Eleanor says, I'd say the more powerful the food porn in her story, the more likely it's one of Wraith's faves. I write a lot about a lot of like what Kat calls castle food, which is a like gross and, you know, like very simple stuff that I actually cook. I cook for the Wraith Ring team pretty much once a week, although it's been ordering out right now. Uh, Miriam said, is there a discord server for Wraith Rain? Yes. And actually there's a link to the discord right above your comments. Somebody else. Uh, okay. So I, um, Liz says the discord is for all things Wraith Rain and they have some really cute stuff there. Okay. So Kayla says, Hey, Wraith, love your stories. Started reading them years ago, but moms get busy, of course, and life happens. Laugh out loud. I recently had our last baby, and my husband convinced me that I need time for me after work and taking care of the kids and him. So I reactivated my membership, and I'm loving getting back to your stories during my me time. You're amazing. Well, Kayla, you're amazing. You have children, a job, a husband, and you're taking this time one thing that Kat did tell me about this as a mom herself, she said she loved the idea that there's, it's like one chapter at a time. So she's like, I can find 10 minutes to like, you know, look at something. And then I get that little like burst instead of thinking my, to herself, she would say like, if she has a huge book in front of her, that's like harder to enjoy versus the chap by chapter. She doesn't feel the pressure of that book hanging over her. So Kayla, we are so happy to have you back. And I'm so glad you're taking some time for yourself. And I know how hard that is when you're taking care of everyone else. Doll says, any Alarian? I see red flags as red thongs. I don't know what that means. I feel like an idiot. I think you mean Alarian, like red flags as red thongs. No, <laughs> I don't get it. I'll have to think about that. Just another account says, what era or year was Alarian born in? I would say that I see him like a, to be honest with you, as a Visigoth or some somewhere in that area. That's what I see him as, but I don't actually know. Um, I really see both him and Valerius, to be honest with you, it's almost like 
the time before written it like basically like a, a huge cataclysm happened where you know we don't know about those societies they came from but he obviously was someone when life was cheap and uh you know killing people for a living was something that was you know well recompensed and uh he was he just loved that i mean he, not killing people he, yeah he does love killing people but he loved fighting and everything so melody says so does that mean cognac is your favorite drink you know other than diet coke champagne is my favorite drink other than diet coke you should know that i have it everywhere <laughs> but i know what you why you asked about cognac my father used to drink cognac. No, that has nothing to do with <laughs> the foul. Believe me, he is not at all like that or was not. Eleanor says, on the Discord, we suggest names for our newly caught Pokemon based on names from Wraith stories. Oh, my God. It, I feel like sometimes we were running out of names for characters. Like, I would be like, can I use Miles? No, no, can't use Miles. Wait, what about using Cade? No, no, can't use that. That was Caden, remember? So it, it's fun. It's like I always go to the fantasy name generator now and I'm like working off of that. So Emma says, hey, Wraith, congrats on 5K. When will the next Empire of Stars chapter be released? Is it scheduled? Yeah, Emma, everything is. I put the a link to the calendar. The next chapter to be written that's coming out is on the 9th. And then the next um, live is on live reading of that is on the 18th. So. That's coming up. Oh, doll head cannon or cannon. I don't know. Uh, I think I still don't get it, doll. I feel like an idiot. I don't know if I've not had enough caffeine. Um, Ness, have you ever written a story with a polyamorous relationship, or do you think you ever write one at some point? No, I probably will not, Ness, because my thing is one true couple. I that's my my own kink. I guess that's my preference. That's nothing to say I have. I've known many people in polyamorous relationships and it's all cool. And I think it's wonderful. And I think whatever works for you is the best. And in truth, in real life, I think one person can never be your all. But I don't think that's not really what my, you know, like jazz is when I'm writing it. Also, it's not the majority of what people on the site want. And I'll tell you my, my experience with writing Ghost Hong Kong Triad. Uh, I warned people there would be a, uh, from the get go, uh, love triangle. And I had some very vocal people in almost every chapter, literally throwing fits about the fact that there was a love triangle and that they were very upset with me and that I, you know, was ruining their lives and that they were going to basically leave the site. Now I know we can all say to ourselves, well, you know, we can't, I can't write for those people because that's just silly. But I think that there is just like, I think an expectation with a Wraith Rain book for the most part that will be one true couple. And even though I tell people it will not be one true couple, they'll go into it thinking that and be disappointed. But more importantly, of course, as I said, this is more my thing, but um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, hi, MT. Eleanor says, Instead of asking when Alarian died, ask when he bonded with Mephis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was like, he didn't die. Um, I I really would believe that he bonded with Mephis. If I were to actually think of his backstory for this, my guess is he bonded with Mephis when he had, had an opportunity to take a leadership role and he betrayed someone. And, uh, I think that that would be something he would do. And then he would regret that because he would feel like he took leadership out of a way of weakness rather than strength. And that's what has basically kept him, I think has hobbled him for a long time until he and Valer until he and Valerius became friends and Valerius have showed him the way and then he could let that go. Uh, Joy says, have you played five nights at Freddy's? No. Uh, I have not. Eleanor says, Oh, doll, are you asking after Alarian head cannons? I still don't know. Doll, kind of poly parents have infinite. Go ask your mom, dad on loop. Okay. 
<clears throat> I swear, doll, I don't know. It must be just me. Other people are understanding you. Me, no. Me, no, understand. Lily, I missed the last five minutes of the live because my cat, Coconut, just ran head first full speed into a wall. That's fun. I love when they do these things. Congra and Lady Jean says, congrats on 5K. Yeah, seriously. It's just so cool. So cool. So neat. Eleanor says the Discord has a lot of dragons right head cannons, mostly about Valerius and Caden. Yes, I know. I saw that it was turned to fish's reign at one point, which I thought was hysterical. Helen, oh my God, I love the OTPs. Uh, Chef Echo says, hi, you posted a community post asking creature monster romance. Are you planning on using the response for that for future stories perhaps? Perhaps no cats in charge of asking. And unless she's going to um, parlay that into something that she wants me to do, um, she might just be curious. I always curious. Um, right now I have uh, another book series that I'm working on putting together called The Vampire King. Yes, it's going to be something of Everdark in it, but that's going to be for the individual books. And then when Labyrinth is done, I've got, I have to have another story there and I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Um, I'm having, I, I, well, I have some ideas about what I'm going to do. Something to do honestly with Faye, but with the current day, I don't know if you guys saw the, um, uh, the movie bright on Netflix, um, terrible. And yet there are parts of it I really do enjoy, but I thought the idea of basically having, um, high fantasy creatures in the modern day and how that would work would be really fun to do. Like that inspired me to do something like that probably for the next story. So, you know, with Dragon's Reign, we had what would happen if there were shifters. Now, what would happen if there were elves, dwarves, halflings and everything and humans? And um, obviously with my beloved Chosen One narrative. Uh, just another account Do a backstory in the dragon's life. It will be cool. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I like sort of leaving that open because if I ever do choose to go back to any character, I can, um, amend them the way that I really, you know, as they come to me, like right now I have this idea of them, but it's not set in stone. Uh, Narcrucrissa says, I'm discovering that I don't know how to spell any of the characters' names. That's Okay. It's all right. <laughs> they are made up names for the most part. Um, Eleanor says, how old was Alarian when he bonded with his dragon? I think, Eleanor, we went through this, my darling. Uh, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Uh, Lovecraft, who is your favorite Witcher character book game series? Um, I really have not read the book. Um, I've watched both the series and played the game. Um, I really do love um, Henry Cavill as Geralt, um, even though he's quite different than the game, but I think he does a very good job. I feel like I don't get to see enough of him, weirdly, in uh, season one of The Witcher. Um, I wish they would have focused more on him. Uh, I'm curious what season two will bring. I know they're going to do it more... Um, <laughs> the timeline will be straight rather than going back and forth and all over the place. Delta's message. Congratulations on 5k. Thanks. Doll says, what was your thought process of Larian talking about dragon dicks? Oh, well, he actually doesn't know. I mean, because they don't, the dragons themselves, when they are, uh, in this world, when they're transformed, they don't have sex with anybody. So they basically, because <laughs> they hate, they don't hate one another, as we know. They they really don't, but there's no nothing romantic. So he was curious what happens because he does not have that experience. <clears throat> Salvador says, will you write more about Dragon's Reign or has the story come to a full close? It's come to a full close. Um, I'm not saying never, obviously I never say never as I come back to things, but I really feel that it's, it is a complete story and it leaves people of course wanting more, but you always want to leave people wanting more. I think that's very true about some of the best stuff out there. Not that I'm saying Target is the best stuff out there, but you know what I mean? That you leave people without 
wearing out your welcome. Uh, Lily says fish is rain. That was my fault, right? Mm hmm. I see. Delta's mess says vampire king. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do basically a huge, highly remixed Everdark. It's going to be very different. But um, I am very excited to do that. It's after Cinders and Ashes because I do want to do another um, vampire series. Uh, Amai says laughing my ass off. I'm so happy you saw Fish's Rain, right? I was like, what is going on? Uh, Lily says, I found a beta fish that matches the dragon shifters. I love it. I love it. Eleanor says, Fish's Rain was so funny. We got a new member at that time. They're like, um, is that a Dragon's Rain channel? <laughs> yeah. Um, Galaxy, are you going to make a podcast out of the Wicked Path? No, we will not. Um, first of all, it's Twincess, guys. It's not going to be on YouTube. So if you would like to have anything, if you want to read it, um, you can read the first five chapters for free, but then you would have to sign up to read the rest. You can, you can read the first three chapters. They're out right now. Faye said, would you ever incorporate BDSM into a story? Is that not your cup of tea? I have light BDSM in, um, labyrinth and, um, dark, the darkening. <clears throat> I am not as educated on the scene and I, so I, I always feel like if I can't do something intelligently and thoughtfully and in an educated manner, I should not do it. Um, it's not really my bag in terms of I'm really big into sort of like, I'm not big into power plays like that. In fact, um, on a personal note, and I, but I think everyone can say this to a certain extent. I started dating when I was way too young. I looked a lot older than I was. When I was like 12, I looked 18. That was just how it was. And so I got into a lot of situations with guys and gals that were, how shall I say, more mature than I was. And so a power imbalance was something that happened routinely with me. And it was not sexy because it's real life, right? We all know that the real life stuff that it's not often sexy in in actual uh, fiction. So, and I just to me that brings up really bad memories. I know people are into BDSM, totally okay with it. It just to me it's uncomfortable because it just brings up for me a very much a different type of feeling. Uh, uh, let's see. Liv, I can't wait for Cinder's Nash book five. Neither can I. Kat and I have been meeting once a week. I'm going to probably have to tell her we need to meet more than once a week so that I can finish that up. It's a huge book and I'm very excited to share it with you. Um, Joy says, how many chapters will Wicked Path have? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's, you know, you can have anything from as low as 40, which isn't going to happen to as much as 180 um, it really depends on what the story wants. Uh, Lily says the beta fish I picked for Caden is called white dragon crown beta. Nice. Delta Matt said, oh, that would be really cool. You're right. There are some interesting ideas in bright. Yes, there are. It's just executed poorly in many, many ways. But the idea of, you know, what would happen if elves were real and magic was real and we, it, in our world, just as it is now, it's going to be awesome. Tim and Reader says, I remember seeing in the gallery a male couple of like an elf and a centaur. Is it a history you were working on or did it get confused and this image is not in Wraith Rain? It's not in Wraith Rain, love. There is no centaurs and no elves with centaurs. Helen says, oh my God, I would love to see high fantasy in modern day. Yeah, I know, right? I love the urban fantasy trope so much. Might also because I play D&D a lot. Yes, I agree. I think what would be fun is I've normally kept my elves other than the fell. And, and that's fun having in the modern day is to think of these creatures. Like how would it be? How would our world transform if suddenly these fantasy creatures were here and were written into a part of the fabric of our lives, immortal beings, uh, beings with magic. Um, how would that switch things? So it's not going to be like, it's going to be sort of like dragon's reign with like the 30 years or something, but it's going to be like, this is relevant new um doll says will behemoth weave be snatched doll i 
don't know what that means. Melody says a new vampire serial. Heck yeah, I know. It's it, I've already got the first cover for it from uh, Sylvia Frost and it is spectacular. Joy says, how would you describe Jasper? I think I described Jasper. I think you mean Jasper Hawes and I describe him pretty well in the book. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, read, listen to Dragon's Reign. He's, you know, how he is. He's as he's described there. Mai says, I am dying more for Winter Haven, so it's not wrong. Those are the good stories. They are. They are the good story. Dra uh, Salvador says, Dragon's Reign Banner says that it's updating, so I wanted to make sure. Oh, I should be switched then. No, it's just a, 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 mon uh, a manual thing. I love Dragon's Reign. Such a good story. And I agree that the ending was really good. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's over. It's over. Um. Cat says we have been so bad during the so-called author nights. We've got to get serious. We do, Cat. We do. Um, Skyler says hi everyone. Hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. I do as well. Liv says in my story, the magical creatures only revealed themselves to help save the Earth after the humans destroyed it. Yeah, that's always good, but I think that's a little dystopian for me. That's a lot that sort of happens in like the, mer um, I would think in the Merman series more for me. Will they take over? And that, but that's a good idea though, Liv, when I think about it and they step in and be like, okay, you've had your chance. Now we're going to do it right. Ness says, when you start a new story, how much do you plan what will happen and how much has changed based on the comments? Um, a lot is planned and a lot is changed on the comments. I can honestly say that I have a general idea of the world, um, a very strong ideas about the characters and some of the things that I want to have happen. <clears throat> However, so much changes as I'm writing that it's almost like I'm, I just throw out what I had before because the characters want to do what the characters want to do. Um, and if I try to push them into something, they just won't do it. And, and the, it lies flat. It just doesn't work. Um, and then how many times have you thought when someone said, after you've seen a movie that you love, uh, oh, what if some, what if X happened? And you're like, oh my God, that would have been so much better. Well, that's what the comments are like. Where they're like, well, what if this happens? And I'm like, that's so much better than I thought. That's so much better than I planned. I had no idea about that. And then I take that and I like massage it into what I'm basically going to do. And that plays a huge role. So it completely changes things. So I think the thing that I mostly have is an idea about the world and the characters generally. But yeah. Um... Joy, how do you plan your stories? Uh, I, I honestly start with what kind of story is it going to be in terms of like vampires, high fantasy or elves, uh, shifters, um, some witches, demons and stuff. Because I always want to have sort of like, you know, science, a science fiction-y type thing like space marines. So I'm really always sort of filtering through those. Sometimes I want to add in something different. Um, and you know, that I pick up and I'm like, oh, I really want to do this. And then I, I end up doing it. Like Valkyrie was an interesting one that was North myth Norse mythology with like a, um, profiler twist. And, um, so I talked to Kat and Sylvia about it. And then I start getting in the, basically the nub of the idea. And I talk to them more about it and they ask me questions and make suggestions. I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, that sounds really good. And then I, I really just sort of talk it out with them and through these back and forth where they're like, you know, pressure checking my ideas. I then go and to Mathia Arconial and I was like, okay, I want you to do these character sheets. I give her um, ideas of actors or models that look like what I think the character is going to look like give her characteristics for their characters and then like, you know, um, find like clothing that I think would be appropriate for them that she could sort of like model it off of. And then the, you know, those are drawn and then uh, working with Sylvia, we create like the banner for the main banner. And that starts like, you know, to really like 
draw in what the story is going to be like. And then, of course, go to those main chapters, those first three chapters. Uh, okay. Galaxy Nails. Are you going to make a podcast for the Wave Path? I, did you ask that before? Somebody did. No, it's Twincest, and it would never, ever be on uh, <clears throat> YouTube. It would cause us lots of problems. The visual coffee says the dragons I write in my story, I make it more of a hostile over. Huh. Do you make them more hostile? I guess I could see that. Uh, image Larian times Caden. No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alaria, yeah, no, but I see why you like him. I I could tell that you really like him. But I'm trying unless Caden is squirming away. Um, just another account says, would you ever do Greek mythology, a modern day story with a twist? I could. The problem is that what I really like, what's so powerful about the Greek gods is that they are so very human. And they're not really pleasant, to be honest with you. They're they're almost like if you could take the worst qualities in humanity and magnify it by about a hundred, that's the Greek gods. Shailen says stories. They plan themselves. Yes, they do. They come out of your left brain. Your left brain does a lot of subconscious work. Liv says, I'm starting a new book about called the cadaver about vampires is that romantic i can't imagine with a title called the cadaver interesting shaylinda says i'm dragging my feet finishing dragon's reign <clears throat> i understand i do the same thing but i think you'll be very pleased when you do finish it lurlene says will you go back to valkyrie there was so much more it could have gone i i don't have any current plans to do that but i never say never i never say never um, that was a really fun, it was my first attempt at sort of doing a part police procedural. I really liked their mom, to be honest with you. It was a lot more that could have happened in it for sure, for sure. Um, but I really enjoyed, I mean, I really enjoyed it doing it, but there was so much more that could have happened. There were so many more things that could have gone, but I think that's always the way. Again, maybe another one I would have rewritten, but I love it sort of how it is too. But there's just so many different ways stories can go. Like, I am one of these people that would love there to be, like, AU versions of Star Wars movies. Like, why don't you just do one where, you know, Vader lives and, you know, this goes on? Why can't we have that? But most people don't like that. But I love it. I love doing that. Different versions of the same story. So, wait a minute here. Now it seems like the chat is frozen. That's always good. That's excellent. But, uh, oh, here we go. It's finally starting again. Helen says, I have so many ideas for stories in my head floating around. Yes, that's that's so, so, so true. Um, you know, I am surprised that I have been more disciplined these days with that, which is, I guess, good and bad. I sort of I wait until I'm going to be focusing on the next story to have them percolate. Uh, Salvador says, what's your favorite Halsey song? I really like Control. And I really like that, actually, that intro where she's basically talking about um, Romeo and Juliet for some reason. I really like that. Um, so that's, like, fun. So have you guys, like, been, those of you who haven't or those of you who have, have you checked out The Wicked Path? Have you guys gone to Wraith Rain to check that out? Because you can read the first three chapters. Um, where it's, it's generating a lot of really good comments and a lot of discussion. Um, so I don't know if you've checked it out, but you definitely should. I hope you do. You won't be able to comment on it if you're not a member, but you can always just like email us or whatever. It's all good. It's excellent. And the, ch the chat's frozen again. Sorry, guys. I'm like, what is going on? Here we go. Yeah. Sam says, yes, and loving it. Great. Doll, can two spirits go into one person? No. One spirit, one person. Lily, oh, Star Wars, that reminds me. I went and found your Luke times Vader vid. I gobbled it up so quickly. Yes. Oh, that was like my big one um, when I went there. 
I still like, I, it's so funny. I occasionally will still get an email saying, will you continue this? No, I'm sorry. No. Um, Joy says, what would you say the shifters pronounce, pronounce B Jahara Kayla Tez as my may answer. I mean, they all are, are identified by their pronouns. Jahara is, uh, is a she, Kayla is she, Tez is he, May is she, Esme is she, Valerius is he, Caden, he, Larian, he. They are, they are all, uh, so I gendered, cisgendered. Um, Delta says, are we going to have Christmas in the Everdark? Oh, I know. But it feels like we're still in fall there, doesn't it? I mean, it's only been a couple days. It's getting ridiculous. Somehow, <laughs> you know, it's going to be like, you know, 24 hours has gone by. Robin says, are we ever going to get art showing how Tilly and Caden's family looks like? Probably not unless we have somebody who's going to do some really awesome fan art for us. I typically just do art regarding currently updating stories because Matthias got limited amounts of time. And that's why basically I do that. Um, yes, definitely. So I know that a lot of people are always like anxious to know what we're working on next and all this kind of good stuff right now. Matthias is actually doing some really cool art for empire of stars. Um, it's going to be an action scene on an ice planet. So that looks really cool. That's sh what she showed me. So I'm very excited to see what it is. Joy says, have you seen the Alarian fan art? I don't think so. Unless it's been on the uh, discord or it's been sent to me. I don't know. Normally I only look at the art that's sent to me. Um, I have not, if there's been some, it's cool. Amai says, it's only been a couple of days laughing my ass off, Wraith Rain in a nutshell. I know because, you know, we'll be in this story for like years and we realize it's been a week. So it's like, and then somebody's like, do you realize this has been a week? How can they be in love with one another so deeply after a week? I said, I know, but a week's two years. So yes, that makes sense that they would be together like this. Chalina said, could only be here during break. So only have another 10 minutes. Well, we're going to miss you. Um, Skylar says, do you have anything on sale in your shop online for Christmas? If so, when does sale usually start? We definitely can like, let us know. Um, we find that if we put new things up, people purchase them, but unless we have like something going on, people aren't really purchasing a lot. But if you want something specifically, let us know. And we'll try to do a sale. We are going to be having the big Wraith rain 50% off a year sale coming up starting the 15th, more information on that. So, um, if you want to sign up for that, that'll be a good time to do it or have, you know, someone to give you as a gift. Uh, so that's, that's coming up. So more on that, like usual, uh, lady Jean asks, what are your thoughts on stories with gay couples with kids for previous marriage or service at Gissy? I think it's great. I don't really like children. I know that sounds terrible. I, I'm like a cat who goes, to the, I'm, I'm like the person allergic to cats that cats go to. Children really enjoy me and those children that actually come to me, I actually find I really do enjoy, but I'm not big into, um, I myself don't have any kids. I have many, many, I have like nearly eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Jeez. Eight nephews, nieces, um, who I adore, but yeah, I think it's great. But I, that to me, like the focus in the family is just not where it's interesting. Again, one true couple. So I know it's a little weird, but that's sort of like where I'm at. Uh, Liv says, have you guys heard of the all uh, the new exoplanet? Scientists have discovered. I've seen an image of one that looks so blue and veiny. So beautiful. No, I haven't heard about that. Dahl says, head can canon is like personal belief on something in a story. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense to me. I guess like, yes. Um, Amaya says, laugh out loud a week is two years. About that about that. Skylar says, I'm a member already. Would I get a notification from the discount for the membership through email? No, you will not. Um, I will let people know. The problem is what happens is that people will try to sign up for that and they will not cancel their first membership. So they will be paying us double the cash. And then we can only uh, refund a certain amount when we figure out that they've done that. And so that's why we don't like telling people like to do it 
like unless at, unless we tell them like to go to Jeremy and speak to Jeremy and find out if their membership um allows them to do it in a reasonable time. So um Joy asks, what are your thoughts on anime? I like some anime. I am a Ghost Hunt is probably my favorite anime ever. I've been watching a lot more um I would say just animated stuff in general. Like I think me and everybody and their brother loved Arcane. I've, you know, I have really liked some of the new, more adult stuff that we've been seeing on Netflix and stuff. Um, some anime, I just, I tilt my head to the side, go, hmm, it's definitely interesting. You get a sense of like, wow, I, this isn't translating for me, but it's cool. Um, Amaya says, I love it. Really. It's one of my fave things. Shailena says, yep. 50% is the only way that I could do the year subscription. Yeah. That's what a lot of people do. Um, it's like, it's a huge savings and it gives you, and I always think that, you know, when I, although it's hard to have the money up front to do it, I did fine. I was always grateful when I could pay for something like one and done, because I would be like, I wouldn't have to worry about budgeting it as I went ahead. It's like, I've already paid for this year of HBO max or whatever. And I'd be like, Oh, this is mine. I don't have to worry about it. This is awesome. So that's what the year membership allows you to do, as well as to really support the site in a very substantial way um, that's like huge and important and amazing and wonderful. Um, so we really appreciate that. This is like what gives us our biggest uh, push during the year. Um, to be honest with you, these you know, like December and January are two biggest months for subscriptions. And um, it's just a huge, huge deal. I mean, everything you put in allows us to do stuff like the podcasts and the manga and the artists and the you know cat and jeremy and all of that so it's really really hugely imp important um skylar said uh black clover is a really good anime i'll check it out yeah if anyone has any um suggestions let me know corbin says my spotify wrapped really told me dragon frame lived in my head rent free i was like people were um sending me that and on like twitter and stuff and i didn't know what they were showing me and i was like oh Spotify tells you what you're listening to the most and puts it on like a top 10. I think that's so cool. I I'm like honored when people were sending me that. I was like, wow, that's awesome. I am so glad. Joy says, have you seen attack on Titans? What is your favorite character? I have. I stopped watching it because I found it so disturbing. I thought it was incredibly well done. And one of the most, those, the giants are, they're just so disturbing to me that I can't, I can't, I couldn't even watch it. Um, I laugh out, Eleanor says, laugh out loud. Imagine Caden as Sailor Moon and Valeria says tuxedo mask for Halloween. I I could definitely see Caden making him dress up in different characters. Um, Angst you says, my Spotify rap really said I was dramatic and wistful. <laughs> I love it. Um, Joy says, does Valerian have any disorders or disability like sleepless leg syndrome or processing disorder? No, he's got some mental issues, but he does not have those. Um, he's got, yeah, but no, he does not have anything like that. Um, Doll is going to sleep now. Time to dream that she's in Dragon's Rain universe. Lovely. Um, Lady Jean says, I love the YouTube animation. I love a boss. Yeah. That's, um, once again, we have the beautiful work of Mathia Arconial mixed with the incredible work of Sylvia Frost. Uh, Lily has to go too. She says, my nephew is throwing clean laundry everywhere. Oh no, 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 no. That's not allowed. It's like when my cat pees in the clean laundry and it's like, God damn it. That's going back into the laundry machine. Um, well, I really just thank you guys so much for coming. Um, if there's any more questions, let me know. I'm thinking like, Oh, wait, someone is like, they're making suggestions. Comey is shy and Netflix is good for anime. Awesome. Like, I'm always looking for suggestions of stuff. I think what we're, I think an hour is probably good. I think, I don't know. I always wonder. I like always feel like I'm talking too much, which is like funny and alive, right? It's like different. <laughs> But I've, I really have loved talking to you guys as always. This is just really spectacular. Um, we will hopefully be at 6,000 and I don't know, relatively after the beginning of the year, that would be amazing. Um, 
Eleanor says Dragon Prince on Netflix is amazing and inclusive. Yes, I watched that. That's it's fantastic. It's so good. Joy asks, is there going to be a Dragon Rain movie? I wish, but no, my love. That would not be probably going to be happening. Um, unless a producer loved it as much as you guys did. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it would be spectacular, though. I think I'll tell the one last story here. We actually did get an option uh, from a producer that was really legit, weirdly enough, for the Artifact um, series. So, you know, there we go. Uh, Corbin says, Dragon Prince is my comfort show. I understand why. It definitely has that. Uh, Kat says, we'll probably hit 6K in February. So that'll be great. Amai has a meeting to go to. Have a wonderful day, Wraith. You guys as well have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I mean, I really appreciate it. And all your wonderful questions. I'm really in, just thank you. Thank you for being here to celebrate, uh, you know, 5K and the Wicked Path and all your, you know, enthusiasms and everything like that. I so, so appreciate it. And thank you so much. So I'll be back on YouTube live on the 18th while we do Empire of Stars. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. Bye.